Hi, I'm Becky Roberts, Vice President at First Community Bank. We are proud to sponsor this month's Women's Wellness Wednesday video series. We invite you to come by any of our locations at Branson, Hollister, and Forsyth to check out the services that we offer. Please give us a call at 336-6310. Welcome to Women's Wellness Wednesdays. Um, I'm Kelly Gosh. I am at the Women's Center in Branson. Today we are going to hit the topic of PMS. So PMS stands for premenstrual syndrome. There's also a condition that's quite a bit more extensive from that called PMDD, premenstrual dysphoric disorder. And we don't really know why some women have a lot of trouble with this and why other women don't. We don't know why some women get some of the symptoms and not all of the symptoms. The symptoms of PMS can be kind of odd and extensive and, and not, like I said, everybody has them, but they kind of come in two forms. There's the affective symptoms, which those include like your mood swings, your anxiety, those quick triggers to anger, sometimes feeling depressed. That kind of all goes with your kind of psychological well-being. The physical symptoms of PMS can be bloating, GI system disruption, um, increased appetite, cravings, breast tenderness. All of those things can happen as well. And some women only get the physical symptoms that they fight before their period. Some women only get the emotional or the affective symptoms, and some women get all of it, which means they're quite miserable. There's not really a lab to order to, to do some type of diagnosis with this. There's not really even a physical exam. It's really more of an interview with the patient and really listening to what she's saying about what's happening to her. The one thing we do know is that true PMS or PMDD has a cycle. So in your menstrual cycle, I mean a classic textbook cycle is 28 days. So halfway through, day 14 is when we ovulate. So the first half of your cycle, that's from when you start your period to the middle, is called the proliferative phase. The second half from when you ovulate to the end is called the luteal phase. The luteal phase is when PMS or PMDD happens. Some women say they don't get their symptoms till a week before the period or three days before their period, but a lot of women will say two weeks before my period it starts and it continues until I start my period. And they say they almost are just praying for their period to start because once the menstrual cycle starts, the whole hormonal aspect changes and they, it's like the clouds open up and the sun shines through again and they feel like they're getting better. A lot of women, we, they kind of get it a little bit confused because real depression, real anxiety, all of this affective side of this is cyclic. It actually travels in a cycle. So they have the good weeks and then they have the bad weeks and that's pretty much how they describe it. But some women have that kind of down, depressed, anxious feeling all the time. Well that's actual clinical depression, clinical anxiety. And so we do have to tease the two things apart so that we can figure out how to help her the best. So in the land of how do we make this better, it can be as easy as looking at your diet, looking at your exercise. We know that those two things are huge. There's also a vitamin regimen that I tell my patients about that works really, really well for PMS and I'll kind of describe that for you so if anybody wants to try it. It is two doses, so an AM dose and a PM dose. A lot of people make a big mistake when they take their vitamins, they take everything at once in the morning. Your body can only absorb so much of those nutrients at one time, so if we tease those those two doses apart, you get maximum absorption of the nutrients. So the AM dose includes a, a multivitamin of your choice, and then an omega-3 fatty acid, which that's the fish oils, and I always warn people, make sure you read your bottle because you want to buy the burpless one. Nobody wants to be burping fish all day because you won't keep taking it. And then the PM dose needs to be a calcium with vitamin D in it and then a second omega-3 fatty acid supplement. The AM dose and PM dose, some people say, oh, is that breakfast and dinner? The two doses have to be four hours apart to maximize the absorption, so whatever works with your schedule. I have patients that swear by just doing the vitamin regimen, but then there are people who have PMS more extensively that we actually have to talk about treatment. SSRI medications or serotonin reuptake inhibitors um, work very, very well in this situation. Um, the one that I gravitate to is actually um, fluoxetine or the brand name is Prozac. Seraphim you can actually take 
for just the 14 days before your period and still get the benefit. I find most of my patients that really need to get on this medication need to take it every day all the time. Anytime you're cycling medication like that, it's so easy to forget a dose or mess it up and they just do better if they're dosing it all the time. We use a much lower dose of fluoxetine than when you treat classical depression. Some people who have clinical depression will be taking up to 60 milligrams of that a day. With PMS, we sometimes start you at only 10 milligrams um, and then maybe go to 20 milligrams and that's kind of the sweet spot for PMS. So that's a little bit about PMS. I think if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you need to reach out to your provider. Um, they're real and there are things that we can do to help you with this. I hope you have a great day.